Hello, <laughs> we're back once again, back from Turkey, uh, second time around and we enjoyed it, we had a great time, but we're back and now it's time to get back into the groove of things. It's difficult, but it is what it is, reality bites, <laughs> big time. Anyway, I've come back, I need things to do, I always need things to do, so I've got a couple of projects in mind and I would like to share them with you whilst in the making whilst in the process. And the first project that I'm going to show you is this one. Okay, this is not actually the, the physical project of which I'm going to be working on, but it is the inspiration of what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to, I'm going to transform something that was given to me and I'm going to transform it into this. Now this is a, an incense cone waterfall. And if you've seen them before, fine but if you haven't seen them before they are absolutely beautiful especially when they get going now what you do is you put this special cone this is an incense cone this is nag shampa which is my favorite scent but this cone is a little bit different from regular incense cones this has actually got a little hole in the bottom and this reason for the hole in the bottom will become apparent once you see this thing going and what you do is you light it up and you put it on top into this little metal cup here and then it gets going and you'll see the effect in just a minute so here we are here is the incense cone holder with the lit incense cone at the top and the smoke coming down a little hole in the bottom of the cone like I showed you before and uh, the smoke is cascading down the structure like a waterfall into the pond below so I'm going to give it a little bit of a blow and show you the effect of how it's actually working yeah it's a beautiful thing absolutely beautiful and like I said I mean I don't know if I said it before but I almost feel as though I don't know I'm getting the same kind of euphoric trance of relaxation that I do when I look into a fire and I can stare into a fire for minutes and minutes and minutes and get a really nice sense of relaxation, all my troubles just fly out of my head whilst looking into the fire and I almost get that same feeling when I look at the smoke coming down and give it a little bit of a blow now and again and it's a beautiful thing, I think it is anyway so thank you April Patricia for that but anyway this is not the project, the project is this so this is the the ornamental waterfall of which I received from my son Callum as a present and what I'm going to do is I'm going to morph this into an incense cone holder like the one I showed you previously now there's a few problems that I'm going to have to get over I'm going to have to solve but let's just basically look at what I'm going to try and do here now this whole structure was originally placed upon this water basin here and the water would get pumped up via a pump through this main trunk this wooden trunk <laughs> not wooden it's resin but and it gets pumped up through this little hole here and it cascades over the side into this little pool into this little pool to its final destination which is lit up by a little LED light and this LED light gets powered by USB but originally it was connected also to the pump and the pump was too big for this whole structure to sit down nice and flat so I asked Callum John to split it up and he was able to split it up and connect the two wires together so I've just got the light now the problem is is this up here so what I've decided to do is I got a little bit of a cut off from a broom handle I've drilled a hole at the top not all the way through obviously but down to about the centre and I've drilled another hole and an upwards angle to meet the main hole and we're going to stick this in the side here into the cup and what we'll do is we'll stick the little metal cup on the top so that the incense cone doesn't burn the wooden broom handle and that will sit in there nicely and then we're going to have to use milliput to block off this hole and also to stick this whole thing in 
nice and firm. Millipot, if you don't know already, you modelers out there will probably know about this, but anyway, Millipot, I've been using this since the 1980s, and it's an epoxy resin, uh, two putties, you cut off two equal parts, mix them up together in your hands, you've got about an hour to form what it is that you want to make before it sets really hard, like a tough resin. So we're going to use that Millipot to stick this in and also to block off the sides because the smoke's going to come through here, down into this little hole and billow out through the hole into this area here and down to here. Now this drop is worrying me, but hopefully it'll be fine. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to direct the travel of the smoke to this little groove. So we're going to have to make a nice, we're going to have to form a, a tighter groove from that hole down to here and we'll use the millipot to do that, the millipot. So I'm going to show you later on how it's going and see what happens. I'm also thinking about painting it a little bit. And talking about the millipot by the way, I know that a lot of you guys had problems getting to the dentist and stuff like that. Well I had a little bit of a, a problem with a filling falling out and I used this stuff to fill up my tooth. And uh, I've just recently been for a checkup, and he was quite impressed. The dentist was quite impressed with my handiwork. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I have completed the first step of the project. And like I said, this initial fall here is a bit of a problem. I kind of thought that it was a bit too much of a drop without any help at all. So as you can see I've filled up this little bit here and I've formed a groove for the smoke to come down and it goes into this first cup here. But as I say the slightest little breeze at all interrupts the flow. But I have discovered if you put, say, say if I put this little bit of card behind, if I put this little bit of emery cloth right behind there, that kind of guides it straight down so I need something at the back and that kind of makes it that kind of directs the travel in a downwards motion a lot more if there was something behind it so we yeah that's what we're going to do so we're going to have to make something we're going to have to form something with the millipot to come down from here into the pot and once I do that I think probably that the, the bowl is probably too deep I don't know but we'll do that first okay so here we are the morning after I did a little bit of work last night I've let it all dry I've let the milliput dry and everything's nice and rock hard so what I did was like I said before this initial groove here this initial drop was a little bit worrying so I've given it a hand with some more of a directional path for the smoke to get tightly directed downwards so I've done that and I filled up these cups which I was a little bit worried about being too deep and I filled them up with little pebbles and quartz crystal and you can see I've, I've lined the walls of the little caves with some crystal and how I did that was actually I broke up one of my thunder eggs this is a thunder egg I found these I think I found this one in Australia and you could just go searching for them I actually found these when I was let us hoe in massive big fields in a farm and if you hold them up to the light they're translucent and that gives you the sign that it's a thunder egg now this is a thunder egg when it's sliced with a diamond saw and they polish them up and they sell them as geodes beautiful things anyway I, I smashed up one of mine and uh, I've got some lovely little bits of crystal that I can line the walls of the cup with and give it more of a a direction for the smoke to travel downwards into the final pool where there's going to be a little light you see okay a few adjustments have been made I have discovered in starting this project the fundamental issue is gravity pull <laughs> and the smoke has to fall almost vertical for the same amount of smoke that comes out of the initial outlet to arrive in the pond below so I've been working quite a lot on the drop. What I've decided to do is a little test of painting the flow path blue. 
so you can see the smoke really well. It's finished! So we've got the cone burning at the top and um, this is not the most intense cone I've had going but I'm running out. <laughs> so anyway the, the cone burns at the top as you can see and the smoke piles out of the initial outlet down to the first crystal rock face and then on down So I'm really happy with this. I'm quite glad it's finished actually. Because I'm dying to get on to my next project, which is this <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>